Today on the channel, we're going to talk about Lydian mode and how to sound like Steve Vai. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Lydian mode and how to sound like Steve Vai in your soloing. So it's no secret that Steve Vai loves Lydian mode uh, and I can't show you every trick in the book how to sound like Steve Vai. I'm not sure Steve Vai can do that himself. But one of the, the many secrets and things that he uses are modes and Lydian mode is by far one of his favorite modes out there and it's it's very vi-esque so let's take a look at it before we get started i want to let you know i'm tuned to e flat because i didn't feel like setting this guitar up to standard it's already tuned to e flat and i i just didn't i feel like setting it up to e <laughs> so without further delay everything that i'm going to show you i'm going to speak as if we're in standard tuning so we're going to learn lydian mode in a so so we're going to take uh an a major chord Okay, and let's think about it this way. Back when you were in grade school, uh, pretty much all of us took music class and we sang in chorus or we sang do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, right? And that is a major scale. And a major scale consists of uh, a series of whole steps and half steps. It's all whole steps except between step three and four is a half step and between step seven and eight, it's a half step. And that's where we get do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, which is in A. Okay. Guitar players, uh, soloists, love to play three notes per string a lot of the times because it just feels it's easy to play, right? And it, you can do a lot of legato runs. So I'm going to show you an A major scale that is uh, in the middle of the fretboard that's three notes per string. And it, it sounds like this. Now I didn't end on an A, but that's three notes per string. Then down. All right, so there's A major. Now if we take that same pattern, this is our A on the low E. If we go up to this E on the 12th fret, and we play that same exact shape, that same geometrical shape. That's an E major scale. Okay, so you can move that pattern anywhere. You can play an A major scale, a B, a G, a D, a C, E flat. That pattern will, anywhere that you play it on the scale, will be the whatever note that you start on, that's your major scale. So the way that Lydian works is it takes a major scale, just like we did, and it takes the, the fourth note of that scale, which in the A major scale, it's this D, but it's sharp, it makes it a sharp, so it makes it a, a D sharp. So an A Lydian sounds like this. So we aren't going to read music and we're not going to think about it that way. We're just going to learn, we're going to learn these shapes that I'm showing you. So what, the way that it works out mathematically is an E major scale has the same notes as an A Lydian scale. So when you play this E major pattern up here, it's got the same notes as A Lydian. And uh, pretty much you can apply that theory anywhere on the fretboard. So you just have to think of it this way. If you're in the key of A, if you want to play A Lydian, you go up five steps, A, B, C, D, E, and that fifth, that fifth note, E, you play that major scale, and there's your Lydian, okay? So if you're in C, the key of C, C Lydian would be C, D, E, F, G. You play a G major scale over C, so now you're automatically in playing C Lydian. It's because those notes in a G major scale equate to C Lydian. So back to A, we're just going to play an E major scale over A. 
Two things I want to point out that are very important is there are there are many different places on the fretboard and positions to play an E major scale or any scale. So I'm going to show you at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a screenshot that's got all the positions for E major. If you memorize those positions, you can play this A Lydian all over the fretboard or E major all over the fretboard. All right. And you can apply that to any key that you want. You just have to memorize those shapes and then wherever you move it, you can change to a different key. But let's think back to, to A Lydian, okay? And the other thing that I want you to think about is um, when you're, if you're gonna write a song in Lydian, you wanna avoid the fourth note or the fourth chord. So if you're an A, you don't want the chord, the chord, the D chord in your song because if you're playing a, a D chord and you're playing A Lydian, you're going to be hitting a C sharp when you're playing A Lydian and it, it won't gel with that D chord. So you're going to stick away from playing the four chord in your songs. So a lot of times in Lydian, you'll hear, you'll hear stuff like they'll play A's and they'll go up to a five. Then maybe a two, like a B. Okay, and then they, they may they may do different chords, but they will not they won't stick around it. They'll never play that four chord. Because that four chord has it, it won't gel with that sharp four. So a lot of times in Lydian you'll hear them just grooving around the tonic note of whatever Lydian mode that you're in. So to, to demonstrate this, I've got an audio track and I'm going to play a drone with a little bit of a percussion beat behind it and it's an A. So I'm going to play an A major scale over this drone first. And I'm gonna let your ears get used to what it sounds like in A major, just standard Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, right? And then I'm gonna play the E major scale over this same drone pattern. And it's the same pattern, but I want you to hear how it sounds like Lydian. Towards the end, I'll start improvising and doing other things in E major throughout the fretboard to give you an idea of some of the things that you can do. Uh, the possibilities are almost endless. They pretty much are endless and it's a lot of fun. So I encourage you to work with a drone uh, and, and uh, if you've got a synthesizer or if you've got a looper and uh, work, with, work with the scale and you'll be surprised at some of the things that you can come up with. It's, it's pretty fun and it'll make you sound like you're super advanced and uh, perk up a lot of people's ears. So let's check out these, these patterns. First A major, and then I'm gonna do A Lydian. And uh, so let's check it out.
So as you can tell from those audio examples, A major and A Lydian have a completely different sound and feel. And the cool thing about it is, it's the same pattern that we're playing, just in a different location on the fretboard. So take a look at some of those scale patterns that I put on the prior slide. Those are E major scales, but played over an A drone sounds like A Lydian because those are the same notes found in an A Lydian scale. So I hope this video was informative. I hope that it was easy to understand and you enjoyed it and it unlocks some of your hidden potential and inspires you to play more. So please comment below. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. And as always, have a great day. Peace out.